June in Queens, New York, by the way of the Philippines. See more better here with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss photochromic pioneer green lenses with DuraVision Silver for your, that's an anti-glare by the way, for your Ray-Ban 2132 color 6053, the blue crystal, and the 55 eye size. I'm going to take everything out of the original packaging as Ray-Ban sends it to me. Your Italian leather Ray-Ban case, your Ray-Ban frame, cleaning cloth with junk mail because you just don't get enough of it in your regular mailbox now. I'm going to put that back in there. And of course, the star of the show, the main attraction, the new Wayfair in color. Uh, well, it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. This is color 6053, the blue crystal. Matte blue front with crystal on the inside. And I'll only the cool people wear these. And I will tell you why in just a little while. But I'm going to pop out your original demo lenses. Your heavy glass lens listen to that that is glass and uh, now these originally come with a gray crystal with a gray gradient excuse me lens color and i'm going to install the classic ray-ban g15 color but first i'm going to put this into the tracing element of my blocker see i should have had a number ready for you you are secret agent 2229 Grab my paper clip I keep right there. Keep everything nice and organized. Put that on there. Program the shape into the computer so years from now, should you need new, new lenses, I can mail them right to your home. Hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up. Go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase when you submit my receipt. You gots to do that. I don't file for anybody. You file with your insurance company, your flex card, and you will get reimbursed. Now that's the shape that I'll be cutting. We're going to move on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance is 67, which divided by 2 is 33.5. Since you have two eyes, the computer starts at 32.5. I'm going to tap the plus button twice. It goes up in half millimeter increments. Again, I'm going to move the optical center height up to 23. Change the layout screen from single vision to progressive. And I'm going to take your lenses out of your pack. As now, this is what I like. I'm slowly transitioning. I'll still offer Essilor lenses. But I'm giving people the choice to get Zeiss now. The nice thing about the Zeiss progressive lenses is that they come with documentation, cards of authenticity with your prescription on there, all the information. And in your case, because you have four diopters of prism, and I'll explain what that is a little bit later, but they come with that. And it's nice that you can get that and know exactly what you are getting. Since everything is invisible, how do you know you're actually getting a Zeiss lens? But this is the right lens. I'm going to place it on the platform. I need two blockers. I like to call them Jenny from the block. I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got my last two here. Don't worry about this roll right here. These are my last two. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick the first one on there. Place it on the platform. Do the same thing for the second one. Now, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and do this now. Your right eye is a minus 50 sphere. It says minus 50. 175 bifocal strength, progressive no line, multifocal strength. I'm going to highlight that so you know that's what you're getting. And this is the right lens. Your left lens is plus one minus 50 at 85 with four diopters of base in prism. And of course, 175 is your bifocal strength. Plus, this is the left lens. Plus one minus 85 four diopters of prism if you see that there the base means it's on the horizontal plane and that's in and if you guys missed any of that let me recap Ooh, with a yellow one you don't see me get to do that very often so let's go ahead and take this sticker off line up the magnet get everything laid out perfectly 
by the way so yeah these are perfectly clear inside clearer than okay you ready for this i'm wearing the same frame and the 52 eye size you got the 55 but your zeiss photochromic lenses zeiss invented the photochromic lens they sold the lens to essilor and they called it transitions but the zeiss lenses are clearer inside than my essilor transition lenses plus they come in more currently come in more colors than the essilor i'm about to order a pair of blue for myself because you know me i'm all about some blue but i gave june the option and he said let's go with the, the ray the classic ray-ban color green so we're going to get everything laid out perfectly i do want to check to make sure the lens is large enough and it is i'm going to hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block on two the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the left lens which is shaped like a prism a little triangle it is thicker on this side this is going to be the part closest to your nose the base in of the prism thinner on the outside it's thicker at the prism direction so we're going to place that on there same pupillary distance same optical center height pull the paper away to make the black side sticky line up the magnet line everything up here prism helps people for those with double vision or eye fatigue especially late in the day you notice it hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block onto the left lens so this is june's first pair of glasses we're going to make sure everything is perfect wake up the computer job id number 2229 these are polycarbonate lenses and i'm going to press this on there firmly the magnet's going to go into the chuck or as I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. The door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by the two wide styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around and the old carpenter saying measure twice cut once measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which will be challenging because of the prism in your left eye. So the light you see flickering in the background is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic, high index plastic, and Tribex lenses cut wet. Meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which are normally 30%, for, excuse me, 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. And these are high impact ballistics grade lens material the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris it also has 100 percent uva and uvb protection by the way most companies and i'm guilty of this myself through slr they have uv protection up to 380 nanometers Zeiss is the only lens that goes up to 400 nanometers. The most complete protection from ultraviolet light. They have so much protection that they have partnered with the American Cancer Society. And because it has the UV, uh, constant exposure, long-term exposure to UV, ultraviolet light is what causes cataracts in people. So this will offset cataracts much better. Now, as I mentioned, Zeiss came up with the photochromic lenses, which they sold to Essilor, which Essilor branded as transitions. Essilor currently has gray and brown. Zeiss has gray, brown, blue, and this green color. So, this is going to be really nice. I can document everything you're getting. Zeiss is very thorough, very complete. In fact, they're famous for their camera lenses, the microscope lenses, the telescope, the binoculars, hunting scopes, everything. So, nothing against Essilor. I cut my teeth with them. I'm never going to cut them off, but I'm going to give people the choice. Now, you've heard me mention in some of my videos that I'm coming out with my own brand of eyewear. I'm actually coming out with several of them, but one of them is a cancer ribbon to support... It's going to look 
don't tell anybody but it's gonna look an awful lot like this frame but it's gonna start with a pink ribbon on the side and on the inside it'll say pray for the cure but my wife came up with that idea because her family has been devastated by breast cancer and when googling it to make sure the Susan G. Susan G. Komen Foundation didn't have a monopoly on it or the trademark I found out that every cancer has their own color ribbon so I realize if you can put a ribbon on the side and paint it pink you can paint it gray for brain cancer you can do blue for the others pediatric cancer is gold so I'm going to come out with a line of children's eyewear with a gold ribbon on there donate those to St. Jude's there's a I'm in Durham North Carolina so there's a hospital Duke University I'm gonna donate to the Duke Pediatric Cancer Ward I learned that chemo and radiation affect eyesight a kid could be 2020 when going into the program but need glasses or if someone already has glasses but the prescription is going to change that does not fit I need to take it down and so from experience I'm gonna go half a millimeter that seems like a lot but I just know this frame I cut my teeth on this frame I've been wearing it myself for seven years the 52 cuts on side perfectly the 55 needs a little bit more uh, taken off of it but uh, yeah kids who already wear glasses and get treatment may need it I'm just I'll never cure cancer but I'm not forgiven from doing my part so I just want to be able to provide glasses at no charge for the kids so that uh, it's one less thing for the parents to, to think about while they're here visiting my city because very few people from my city come here it's people from all over the world get treatments for their kids so it's just one way to give back to the community I'll even try and set up a it's not a GoFundMe but a page where you can click and maybe on the checkout page if you want to donate extra money to to buy a pair of glasses for a kid going through treatment I'm trying to think of all different ways that I can help and everyone else can help I like to have my own pity party sometimes when things aren't going well or my life is difficult no one can kick me like when I'm down like I can but then I stop to think about the kids who are fighting for their life and all of a sudden you know my my problems don't seem so important anymore <coughs> Excuse me, excuse me. A little sawdust floating around. So it's a way that I can give back. The most valuable form of currency that you can have on this planet is the effect you have on others. Everything that you will gain will rot away eventually, and the only thing you have left is what you possess in your heart. It's not about what you have in this life, it's what you give. And I've been pretty fortunate in so many ways. Loving family with a soulmate of a wife. I've been together with my wife for 14 years and we've never had one argument. So I'm really blessed and so many other ways and it's time that I, it's a corny saying, but you have to you know, give blessings to receive blessings. And I feel like uh, I've got too many blessings in my account. And if you have to give them first to get them, then I owe a lot of blessings. And it's time to start paying back. Pay it forward of what I got. Now I'm taking it down even more. Now one thing, this is June's first progressive. Now what I will do is I will leave a link in the description below on how to use your progressive for the first time. But what I will do, let's do this. So that's why you're getting it. Hey, let's do it for fun. Oops, oops, oops. See here, I was trying to be cute and I messed up. Let me see if I can do this just right. That is not your shape of your lens. That's not what your eye looks like. But the full strength of the reading is going to be down below. And that's designed to work at 20 inches. That's the elbows touching your side, arms bent at a right angle. If you were trying to thread a needle or tie a fishing lure, you're going to look through the very bottom of the lens. Above the very bottom, below your pupil, is known as the intermediate range. And that's 30 inches. You're going from a bent elbow to an outstretched arm. Anytime you're doing something on the counter, cutting vegetables, cooking, looking at your computer screen, anything with an outstretched arm, 
that is just below your pupil. That's the bottom half of the lens. It's called a progressive lens because as you look downward, it gets progressively stronger and stronger. Now, above your pupil, that's the whole top half of your lens. That's the distance portion. That's easy because you naturally just look up to see far away while you're looking around. For most people, I call it the bobblehead syndrome. You're trying to figure out, is it 20 inches? Is it 30? Is it 20? Is it 30? Your brain's going to process all of that. You will automatically start looking where you're supposed to. The first couple of, here's my sales pitch for the invisible bifocal. They cost more and you're going to hate them. You know, the, the first week. After that, you're going to wonder how you ever live without them. They cost more because they do more. Now, the other thing, let me make sure this fits okay. Tuck that in the outside corner. Press in. And I can do a little bit better. A little bit better. Let's go a tenth of a millimeter more, and that'll give me a chance to explain more. So, just like your gas pedal, the further down you go, the stronger it is, the more power you have. So, but your best vision is through the center of the lenses. When you look through the edges, there'll be periods of distortion. So, like my hand is over here. I can see the motion of my hand, and I see my wedding band, but it's blurry. But if I point my nose at it and then raise my nose up to get to the right height, because I'm wearing the progressive lens too, it comes into focus. So use your nose like it's a laser pointer up, down to your left and your right. Point your nose at whatever you're looking at. And a single vision lens, you can look all the way over, you can cut your eyes left and right, and you have the, the same field of view. This, you have to look through the center of the lens and just do the up and down. Nine times out of 10, if something is not in focus, Raise, keep your eyes fixed on it. Let's do this. If that word Zeiss is not in focus, raise your chin up while you're looking at that word and it'll come into focus. Now, nine times out of ten, to make something into focus, raise your chin up the one time out of ten. Stairs, steps, curbs, escalators. Normally when you get to a curb, you glance down. Well now when you glance down, you're looking through the strongest reading portion of the lens. So this is the one time, in order to see the floor clearly, tuck your chin in towards your chest. And that forces you to look through the bottom of the lens, and the curve, the stair, the step will be clear. Let's tuck this, see if this will fit better this time. Tuck it in at the outside corner, well, wherever it'll go, based on the thickness of these lenses. Yeah, there we go, now we're in there. Now we're in there. That's going to come off pretty easily. Do the same thing for the left. I'm going to see if I can do something just a little bit differently. Let's, I'm going to flip that over to L. I'm going to try and do this manually if it's not too late. Okay. Um, press that on there firmly. Place the magnet into the Chuck the Charles, the Chucky baby. Hit start. And even though I took it down a certain amount for the lens to fit in there perfectly, I may have to do more based on the thickness of this lens. So it's going around tracing the shape of the left lens. And you can see the thickness of that. And so I'm going to change the bevel. I want to use, put everything on the base of the lens, 3.90. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, it's going to be a little tough working around the nose pad there, but I love challenges. So, now that that's in there, we can come down here, read the power off the right lens, turn the power to, actually there's no a axis, so I just need to check, read the power. And I'm getting, where's my flashlight? Minus, come on flashlight, minus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1. Now, your right eye, that's all you need, half a step of far-sighted correction. You are near-sighted in your right eye, far-sighted in your left. You have a minus sign for the right eye. With your glasses off in your right eye, everything is much too large. So, this will shrink things down. That's why they minify. Now, your left eye, you have four steps of distance correction and then another two steps of astigmatism correction. And based on the thickness of the left lens, you have four diopters of prism. 
prism as you can see from that angle and if we were to do it this way prism means it is thicker on one side and thinner at the other you have base in so really if we were to do a lens we're going to turn the prism this way a prism is just like a diamond and we're going to move that prism that this were your nose and that's your eye and another eye here the base of the prism which is here the base is this part base we're going to move it four diopters inward towards your nose now of course this is for your right eye but we're doing it for your left so we're going to move it this way and that's why the thickest part of your lens is going in this direction but that's what causes eye fatigue that's what causes double vision now early in the day you probably see pretty well later in the day as you get tired as we age every muscle in our body gets weaker and our six eye muscles are no different but as you age our bodies our, our muscles get weaker quicker so when everything works better when it's rested when you wake up you probably have pretty good vision for what you're used to but later in the day you have eye fatigue and that's when you start to get double vision now prism redirects the object if you're looking at something far away the thickest part is at the base but it makes your eye go towards the image so if you have double vision somewhere this forces your eye when you put these on you may feel a pulling sensation because it's going to make whatever you're looking at and if you're getting two of these let's use the Crizal cloths I got in here I've got one of these now so your brain is a 3d projector it takes a picture with each eye several thousand times a second sends it back through the optic nerve into your brain where those pictures form together now you're nearsighted which will minify farsighted in your left eye which will magnify so essentially one of these is going to be larger than the other and that's where the double vision is going to the prism instead of making two pictures is hopefully going to make one especially late in the day when you're tired so that's the unique thing with prism usually most kids prescriptions have prism because when during screening for school they catch that early on And the best prism prescribing doctors are pediatric ophthalmologists. Where's your glass? Here we go. Now, even though due to the thickness of the base in prism, where it goes for the left eye, it's thicker on the inside than the outside. If there were base up, your lens would be thicker at the top than the bottom. So that is the base of the prism like we were talking about. The image that I showed, it is thicker down here than it is up here but it's going to make your eye goes inward you know my brother was born with what was known as a lazy eye had to have surgery the base of the prism is this way this way but it's going to cause the image to be in front of you to be dead in front of you so let's see if it fits this time around and actually this time I'm going to tuck it in at the nose at the thickest point press down at the nose until yeah that snaps in really well okay I thought due to the thickness I may have to take it off some more but take that off dry everything off come down here to the lensometer put it in on axis 85 put it in over that black dot and I am getting yeah plus one that's what we're getting there check you have two steps of astigmatism correction now what you do not see in the lensometer every time I look in there there is a crosshairs and then there's rings let's make this even bigger that's three and this fourth one is a dot each one of these concentric rings is a diopter when I read the power I'm getting three rings right here which is base in base in base out base down base up so when I read the power, I don't know if you guys can see what is in there, but the three rings that I'm getting, and I'm going to move that so you can see on the inside of 
the arm. That is what you're getting, those three. Let me double check everything. Yeah, it's in the fourth ring. I can move that around. That is amazing. Of course, that's how I have to inspect everything. So, you do have a little more edge thickness, but that's because of the prism. But the good news is, the double vision will go away. Of course, you got everything going on. Your first pair of progressives, your first pair of prism lenses. So, PD is 67. I'm going to turn the card around with all my drawings on there. Let's do a blank side so you can see better. Place the PD stick against my thumb when we hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 67 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Check the optical center height of 23 to the middle of the bottom of the frame. Not the bottom of the lens, but the middle of the blue part of your lenses. Of the frame, excuse me. The frame, that's 23. Now you got, you're going to get all of this to know that these are the uh, original lenses that you're getting. This is also the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Queens, New York is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different. I'm part of that 80% and I'll show you in just a moment. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments. So just stop by your local place, tell them if it's too loose or too tight or high on one side. They'll know what to do. That's pretty cool, the prism that is in there. So, um, sorry, I just like to experiment. This, I don't get a chance to cut a lot of prism, so I'm having fun with this. By the way, I send out a selfie request to have your picture on the website. I also send out cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and lenses, but for your Ray-Ban case, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, and the premier microfiber cloth that I provide. Instructions on how to care for those and your case, so those two will last you for years. Now, again, your lenses came with a gradient gray, the blue crystal does, but you wanted the classic Ray-Ban Zeiss calls it the Pioneer Green. It's a gray-green color. So this is uh, the classic Ray-Ban G15. We're going to see what they look like once they've been activated. As you can see, it takes about 45 seconds to a minute for all photochromic lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now this is important. Everyone pay attention. All photochromic transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed. After that they'll work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield has ultraviolet protection that would cause your, if it didn't, your dashboard would crack from sitting in the sun all day. And that's why they want to darken a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. They're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work better once it cools off. Now this time of year it's no issue, but people who live in really hot climates or some Zeiss does offer the Photo Extra lenses as well. They invented that and then sold the technology off. But I think that looks pretty good, don't you? Of course this is starting to lighting as I run my mouth, but it was the same color as this G15 lens and it's going to turn back to clear as I keep talking. So if you like what you saw today, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you will get future notifications of videos as they come out. Again, there will be a link in the description below, not only for the frames, but uh, just to recap on how to use a progressive lens for the first time. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter, it's free RX lenses. If you have any questions or comment about what I can do, my phone number and email is on the Contact Me page of the website. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But June in Queens, New York, by way of the Philippines. Thank you so much for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfair, color 6053 in the 55 eye size. Again, there will be a link in the description below if anyone wants this frame. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. i got to get these in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance, one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. So again, we're wearing the same frame. You have the 55 eye size. I have the 52. 
Yours looks a little bit newer than mine. But, um, but yeah, when I press mine down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me because I'm part of the 80%. My right ear is lower than my left ear. Or I can't remember, is my left ear higher than my right? Come on, y'all. That's funny. You got laugh at... I give you permission. Stop this video now. Hit pause and laugh at that joke. Okay, hit play again. So, flip this over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. Now, this Ray-Ban... 2132 new Wayfair the sunglass sells for $150 any size any color it's available in three sizes and most colors the the 52 I'm wearing the 55 they now have a 58 that's available in some but not all colors like the 52 and 55 are but um, but this frame sells for 150 the Zeiss Light D Progressive Lens Digital Freeform Progressive adds $149.99. The Photo Fusion, that's what Zeiss calls their photochromic lenses. Photo Fusion, this is the Pioneer Green, the gray, brown, green, or blue, adds $99.99. And the DuraVision Anti Glare is $79.99 for a total of $479.97. Tax free because I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers Eyeglass is a medical device and there's no tax on medical devices. So all of your purchase from me will always, well the time of this video, will be tax free. Um, and of course free shipping anywhere in the U.S. and Queens, New York is in the U.S. So again June, thanks for the purchase of this frame with the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses with the Photofusion Pioneer Green that goes from clear inside to the green outside with the, the Zeiss Durachrome anti-glare coating and now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.